Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for more Raw Round Robin Tournament action. Here with Group F, we got the fifth round starting off. We got Matt Hardy taking on William Regal. Matt Hardy currently sitting in first place with four points. Regal tied for second with no points. Here we go, things starting off hot. Matt Hardy going for that spinny heel kick, but misses. Regal missing a strike as well, but he gets behind Matt Hardy. Moves to the front, Matt shoves him off. Regal not very persistent, grabs him again, takes him down, nicely done there. And putting the boots to him while he's on the ground. Grabs him again, but Hardy reversing it with a clubbing blow to the back, putting Regal in the ropes, and the spinning heel kick misses again. See what Matt Hardy does here as he grabs Regal into the small package. Referee Mike Kyoto on top of it, but Regal kicks out before a one count can be given. So we got here is Regal, oh, nicely done, going after the arm there. He's trying to break the right shoulder of Matt Hardy. Hardy grabs him though, kick to the gut and a punch right to the face. Nice two-piece combo by Matt Hardy. Another clubbing blow puts Regal back in the ropes. Spinning heel kick misses. Regal just slowly gets off the ropes. Hardy now again from behind, moves to the front. Regal shoves him off towards the corner. Discus punch misses as Regal gets behind him. Back elbow though puts Regal back in the ropes. Hardy contemplating what to do, kicks him in the gut. Doesn't decide to uh, throw that right hand as well. So Regal starts throwing some knees and a uh, nice uh, English, I'm not English, European uppercut. Put Matt Hardy down and then into the octopus stretch. Or abdominal stretch, whatever you want to call it. But that's going to be a rope break either way. Matt Hardy grabbing him. Nice swinging, swinging neck breaker by Hardy. Put both men back on their feet. Now Regal throwing some strikes. Hardy gets a hold of him from behind into the neck breaker. Dropping the Englishman down on the mat. Yet another clubbing blow by Matt Hardy. It's been pretty much Matt Hardy here. A couple good moves by Regal, but Matt Hardy's pretty much had the advantage the first couple of minutes. But as I say that, Regal hits a beautiful move right there. Ducks underneath the discus clothesline and hits it again. Just throwing Matt Hardy backwards. Matt Hardy trying to get some separation between himself and William Regal, but Regal cuts him off quick, starts throwing rights and lefts. Hardy now finally getting from behind, just throwing him back head first into the mat. And then a drop kick puts him down once again. But Regal keeps coming after him, goes for the kick, Hardy catches it, throws him back. Goes for that jumpy fist drop and misses. Now Matt Hardy's turn to throw some strikes. Ooh, Regal hits that one quick with a forearm, grabs him. And again, another takedown. Nicely done by Mr. Regal. Into the pin attempt. One. It's a one and only a one. Both men make it their way back to their feet. Hardy just spinning round and round, going for those discus punches. Finally connects with one of them. Right hand by Matt Hardy. Doesn't even phase Regal, really. We got some interference coming down as Matt Hardy takes the back, clubs him down with a clothesline. And Billy Gunn is here, and he's going right after William Regal. What is this all about? Both men just, or all three men, rather, just throwing strikes. Drop kick drops both Matt and William Regal. Another one. Regal gets out of the way of the drop kick. Neck breaker drop by Matt Hardy onto Billy Gunn. Billy's still throwing drop kick after drop kick. Finally gets a hold of him, going for the famous sir, nails it. Famous sir to Regal right there in the ring, goes for the pinfall, but that's gonna be a rope break. Little awareness by Matt Hardy to just instantly jump on Regal. And Regal tries to go to the outside, but One, Billy Gunn kicks two, him down. They're both competitors on the outside now. Four, five, Regal six. wisely rolls into the ring, Matt Hardy follows him. So Billy Gunn will stay out of there. As Regal hits another one of those suplexes. Going for the pinfall now. Rope another rope break as Matt Hardy able to get that left leg into the ropes. The right hands are by Matt Hardy. Regal dodges out of the way of that one. But he eats that one now, sending him back a couple steps into the ropes again. Hardy grabs him, what's he got planned here? No, Regal whips him off. Ooh, misses that big elbow that would probably dropped Matt right where he stood. Irish whip by Matt Hardy. No, nothing comes of it. 
Regal grabbing him, double underhook into the power bomb. Nicely done by Regal. Nice tiger bomb into the pin. We got one and only one. Open on their feet now. Only momentarily as Regal hits the suplex. No, Matt Hardy reverses it, gets behind Regal, picks him up. Cross body counter by Regal. Into the pin right away. Gets a one count as we just passed the halfway mark of this matchup again. These matches have a 10 minute time limit here in the uh, in the knockout stage of this tournament. Both in throwing strikes, lefts and rights, chops and kicks. But Matt Hardy grabs him, Irish whips him into the corner. Gets a hold of him, but Regal fights out of it with a couple back elbows. Discus punch sends Regal back a step or two. Goes for another one, Regal breaks it up. Both men contemplating what to do next as Matt Hardy takes the back. Oh, beautiful maneuver there by Matt Hardy. Could get the win here. That's going to be a rope break, though, as Regal is just able to touch the ropes with his toes. And hits another Tiger Bomb. Putting Matt Hardy down, going for the pin now. One, and only one, says referee Mike Kyoto. Regal can't believe it, goes for the pin again and gets another one count. Matt Hardy back on his feet, but Regal grabs him from behind right away into the Bulldog. And we got some more interference coming down as we have big sexy Kevin Nash making his way into the ring. Grabs Matt Hardy right away, but Regal pushes him off. Regal kind of fighting against Kevin Nash, not really accepting the help. Which he should. I don't see why you wouldn't take help from the former WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Nash picking up Matt Hardy. Kicks him in the side. Now they're going to try a double team, double suplex coming. Boom! Nails Matt Hardy with it. Regal going for the cover, but Nash breaks it up right away. I think he knew that was going to be a rope break. Hits the jumping clothesline. Regal just kind of watching along. Another kick to the side by Nash. Regal goes for a kick as well, but Nash, oh, they double team Regal with the double back suplex. Nash rolls out of the ring as Regal looks at him like, what the hell, man? Pinfall attempt here by Matt Hardy, but that's gonna be a rope break. We're back to one-on-one -on -one action here with less than three minutes remaining in this matchup. Kick to the gut by Matt Hardy. Regal grabs him, breaking the eyes like a true bastard. Good forearm there as Matt Hardy's in the rope. Couple good right hands. And a clothesline misses though. Regal again, still throwing some strikes. Matt Hardy returning with one of his own. Regal got the hold of him from behind into the abdominal stretch. No, oh, good counter there by Matt Hardy using the hip toss to get out of it. Going for the twist of fate and he nailed it. Beautifully done by Matt Hardy. This has got to be it right here. Goes for the pin, Kyoto on top of it. We got a one, we got a two and no. Regal kick it out at two. Matt Hardy can't believe it goes for the pin one, again. Two. And another two count as Regal kicks out once again. Jumping fist drop misses as Regal gets back to his feet. Throwing some elbows. Matt Hardy grabs him, throws him into the corner. He's got Regal, he's put him up on the top rope. Follows him up, doesn't he super back flex? Yes it is! Dropping Regal on the back of his head from the top rope. Going for the pin on it. We got one, two. we got two. And again, Regal kicks out. Just getting that left shoulder off the mat with a minute and a half left. One, two. Again, another two count from Matt Hardy. Cannot seem to put away William Regal as we approach the one minute remaining mark in this matchup. Kick to the gut by Hardy and another left hand. Again, that two-piece combo from Matt. Another pinball attempt here. That'll be a rope break. Again, one minute remaining in this matchup. Regal grabs Matt Hardy. Irish whip into the corner. Almost hit Kyoto there. Regal contemplating left hand, puts him back in, but no. Man, now. Trying to throw some strikes, but Matt Hardy getting the advantage with a couple left hands right here and a big right hand. The discus punch dropping Regal. Goes for the pin, we get one. Two. We got two and no. Regal kicks out at two. We're gonna now grab it, Matt Hardy. What's he got planned here? Another Tiger Driver, boom! Nails it beautifully in the corner. I don't know if he's gonna get a rope break or not here. No, he doesn't, we got a one, two, two and 
Oh, just two as Matt Hardy able to kick out at the last moment. Regal's got him by the head, choking the life out of Matt Hardy. He's going for the pin off of it. One, two, got two in. Three, and three, Regal gets the win with four seconds remaining in the matchup, picking up four big points. And jumps to first place, tied with uh, Matt Hardy and this man right here, Spike Dudley. We move on to our next matchup. We got Rikishi taking on Spike Dudley. Spike tied for first with four points. And Rikishi sitting in second with zero. Rikishi grabbing him from behind to start this thing off. Picks up Spike, drops him down with a nice side slam. Rikishi obviously has a much a, a much bigger frame and, and has the weight and power advantage over Spike. Possibly even the agility advantage over because Kishi's a big, agile boy. But never, ever count out Spike Dudley as he jumps up on Rikishi's shoulder, rolls him up for a pin. Earl Hebner a little late to get over there, so not even a one count. Kishi getting a hold of him, picks him up, slams him down with a belly to belly. Follows it up with a drop kick that misses. Spike Dudley goes for the drop kick that misses. Spike got some now. Oh, underneath into a nice backdrop. Nicely done by Spike. Using some of that speed to his advantage. He's gonna do it again. Oh no, this time into a DDT. We've seen him bust that out a few times. Oh, we haven't seen him do that though as he drops a headbutt to the nuts of Rikishi. Kishi isn't going to like that too much as he clubs him in the back, putting him into the corner. Spike Dudley gets out of it, grabs him right away, ducks underneath into another DDT. Spike Dudley realizing, I'm going to have to use my speed to my advantage to get a win here, and that's exactly what he's doing. Jumps up on the shoulders of Kishi, rolls him up into a pin. Run. Gets a one and only a one. Elbow drops the, the ground out of frustration. Kishi now has the back of Spike. Belly to back, slam there. Spike back up, gets the back of Rikishi, goes for the Russian leg sweep and gets it. Then back on their feet as Spike Dudley grabs Rikishi, goes to the back again, going for that roll up from the top to the pin. Run. Gets a one, but only a one is Rikishi able to power out. Oh, let's see. Kishi got land here as he picks up Spike Dudley. Got him up for a bit now, and oh, a stalling suplex. Make that move makes all the blood rush to your head, and then you just get slammed down hard on the back. Very devastating move, but Spike seems to be okay here. As they start exchanging blows, left and right, kicks and punches. Spike able to sweep the leg there, holds onto the leg, and is stopping him on the inside of his knee. Kishi back on his feet, grabs Spike Dudley, picks him up again. Another stalling suplex here. Yes, it is. Again, that's like a six and a half foot drop there for Spike Dudley. Kishi just clubbing him right back down to the mat. Spike still in it though, grabbing Rikishi. Goes for the kick, but Kishi caught it and throws him back. The Tribal Cheeks is not gonna have any of that shit right now. Right hand by uh, Spike, right hand by Spike. Just dodging the way out of these throat thrusts and oh, goes for a drop kick, but it misses. Kishi grabs him from behind, lifts him up, plants him down with a back drop. Now just putting the boots to him while the littler man is down. The front of the Dudley boy family. Right hand there by Spike, kick to the gut, misses. That chop just sends him down again. Spike Dudley throwing some strikes. Nothing really landing though. That one did as Rikishi pummels him down to the mat. Goes for the pin off of it. Run. Just a one count as Spike Dudley. Spike Dudley's able to get that right shoulder up. Dudley now from behind into a sleeper hold. Nicely done trying to cut off the air of Rikishi. The man can't breathe, the man can't move. Not a bad strategy at all. Now breaking the eyes. She's got a hold of him. Irish whip into the corner. Nothing coming of it. Just kind of chopping away on Spike. Goes for the pin now. And another one count. Oh, good strikes here by Spike. Misses the drop kick though. Rikishi grabs him on the way up. Headlock takeover. 
into the pin. One. Just another one count though. But Dudley's still able to kick out of it. Kishi now from behind. Picks up Spike, drops him down with a backdrop. Spike back on his feet right away, grabs Rikishi from behind. Going for another roll up and he gets it. Referee right on top of it, we got one and only one. Rikishi able to kick out. It takes a second for the big man to get back to his feet. We got some interference here as both men start throwing blows about halfway through this matchup. Hulk Hogan makes his way to the ring. He starts going after Rikishi. The hell is the problem with Hogan and Rikishi here? Kicks him right in the gut. All three men just throwing strikes. Rikishi drop kicked One. up and over to the outside by Two. Spike Dudley. Spike follows him out. Three. Hogan watching along and then joins him. Four. Small package attempt by Spike, Five. but Hogan breaks it up. Six. Hogan now got Rikishi. Just gets punched down to the floor. Nine. Referee up to a nine. Ten. Spike Dudley rolls in at 10, and that's going to be a victory. A count-out win for Spike Dudley gets him three points. Rikishi's going to lose two points for being counted out as we move on to the next matchup. We got Victoria taking on Eddie Guerrero. A couple more competitors looking for their first points of the tournament. This should be a good one, folks. I'm kind of excited for it. Start off in mid-ring. Eddie Guerrero kicking her right in the gut. Victoria from behind with the back suplex. Stomping away on Eddie as he's on the map, but Eddie gets right back to his feet, catches the kick, whips her around. Oh, she catches him with a back elbow. Drop kick misses. Victoria grabs him once again into a big clothesline, dropping Eddie down onto the mat. Eddie bounces up, gets her, and hits a clothesline of his own. These two are going toe to toe, move for move right now. Kick to the gut by Victoria. She's got him, and another clothesline. Eddie's back on his feet, grabs her. Hits her with a drop kick this time, didn't go with the clothesline. Tries to stomp her out, but she's back on her feet, grabbing Eddie again, and another clothesline by Victoria. Now she's going up to the top rope. What she got planned here? Oh, Moonsault! Connects onto Eddie Guerrero just a bit, enough to knock him off his feet. Catches the kick and throws Eddie back. Like Victoria's starting to get a bit of an advantage over Latino Heat himself. But as I say that, Eddie grab, I'm sorry, grabs her, throws her into the ropes, misses the Herner Karana. Locks up again, Eddie from behind. Ooh, nice roll up there. Tim White on top of it, but that's going to be a rope break. Backhanded chop there by Victoria, grabs Eddie, headlock takeover. Beautifully done. But a right hand by Eddie. Shot by Victoria. And he now gets the back into another roll up. That's to be another rope break. Oh no, she kicked out. I guess the referee was going to count that one. Goes for the super kick, but misses. Drop kick connects on the knee. Smart move by Eddie. To the headlock and the punch. Victoria's back on her feet. Super kicks him out of midair as he was going for a drop kick. And then putting the boots to him, grabbing him by the head. Eddie fights out of it and just sweeps the leg. Starts attacking her while she's down, but she's back up, going for another super kick. He catches it, hits a flying heel kick, dropping her down. She's back on her feet, only momentarily as he drop kicks her once again in the knees. Bit of a dick move, but it works. Goes for it again, misses. Heel kick misses. Drop kick misses again. Eddie just throwing everything he can, trying to get that speed going. Victoria slowing things down by grabbing him. Forearm and drop kick by Eddie drops her down once again. Victoria gets a hold of Eddie. It's a good forearm there. But Eddie just runs up and hits her with the flying head scissors into the pin. Gets a one and only a one. And Victoria's able to kick out of that one. Big forearm again by Victoria. Kind of stunned Eddie a minute. But she's able to take advantage and hit the nice face buster. Eddie back on his feet. Victoria gets behind him. Into the neck breaker. Good job blocking that shot there, referee. Eddie able to fight out of whatever she was going for on the head. Sweeping the leg, dropping her down. But they're both on their feet now as Victoria grabs him. Into the backslide, middle of the ring. One. Only a one count, though. 
still a lot of fight left in Eddie. We're only three and a half minutes in this matchup, so I have to do a lot more to keep the uh, Latino heat down. But a back suplex like that will definitely help out. Dropkick to the knee drops Victoria once again. That seems to be Eddie's go-to move here in this matchup. And it's been working for the most part. Oh my god, elbow to the back of the head, drop, and Victoria goes for the pin. That'll be a rope break as The Undertaker makes his way to the ring. He immediately goes after Victoria. He's thinking last ride, got her up. All the way up, plants her down, oh my god. Victoria somehow makes it her way back to her feet, throws Taker back. Taker's just throwing flying clotheslines out of nowhere. Victoria goes for a pin, but is broken up by The Undertaker. And this is Victoria with the roll up as we have more interference with Molly coming out. Presumably to help out Victoria. Yeah, she goes immediately after. Oh no, they're double teaming Victoria for a second there. Eddie broke it up. Taker going for another last ride on Victoria. It's got her up, all the way up, and all the way down. Talking a little trash too. Molly just rolls out of the ring, terrified of what could have been. Victoria with another roll up on Eddie Guerrero. I don't know how she's still standing after taking two massive last rides from The Undertaker. And she still gets a two count over Eddie. What the hell? The amount of fighting this woman is commendable to say the least. As Eddie hits a swinging neck breaker. We're about halfway through this matchup. Pinfall attempt by Eddie, only a one count. Victoria still somehow has more fight left in her. Lock up there by Eddie, gets her from behind. Nice little roll up, that's gonna be a rope break. Her feet were barely touching the ropes there. Eddie's got a hold of her. She reverses it, clubs him in the back, that'll put him on the ropes. Gets a hold of him. She got planned here, Snapmare. Holding on to the head, picks him back up. Doesn't really do anything with it. I think she kinda got lost. Oh, a low blow by Eddie Guerrero. Punching her right where the nut should be. And going for the pin here on it. One. And only one as Victoria kicks out. Eddie can't believe it. Going for another pinfall attempt. Gets another one count. Can't blame Tim White on these. These are some pretty good counts. It's just there is a lot of fight left. And Victoria to German suplex with the bridge. This has got to be it right here. Again, another one count. And she gets up so fast, she goes to pin Eddie, who's just exhausted. Eddie Guerrero is just exhausted from hitting move after move, but Victoria back on her feet. Nice suplex there onto Eddie. Chop. Lands cleanly. She goes for a super kick again, but Eddie kind of striking, making her stop that. Now Eddie Guerrero going for a suplex, got her up. Oh my god, the brain buster. That's got to be it right there. That has to be it. Victoria, stay down. We got a one. Only a one. Once again, Victoria will not give up, will not stay down, will not surrender. She's up throwing forearm. Super kick misses. She gets the back of Eddie. Oh, eats a back elbow there. Send her back a couple steps. Eddie just clubs her down with the double axe handle. Follows it up with an elbow, and he thinks he's got it again, going for the pin. One, two. Gets a two, and only a two, as Victoria kicks out once again. One. Bit of a slower count there from Tim White this time around, but still just a one count. Victoria grabbing him now. Goes for the kick, and he catches it and throws her back. I don't know how Victoria's still in this matchup. She has taken so much damage, dude. Gets a two count there and somehow still kicks out. Eddie Guerrero just going for pin after pin. And again, just another two count. Victoria will not stay down. Eddie's hit her with the low blow, hit her with the brain buster. The freaking German with the pin. We've had two last rides from The Undertaker. And Victoria's still standing. This is remarkable to say the very, very least as she clubs Eddie down to the mat. Grabs him once again as soon as he gets up from behind. Oh, Eddie reverses into a snapmare, holds onto the head. And then just, oh my God, breaking the eyes with his foot. Starts to taunt, but Victoria gets right back up. Eddie's got her, throws her into the ropes. 
Ooh, goes for the kick but misses. But that one landed beautifully by Victoria dropping him. She's celebrating, she's feeling good. Goes for the pin on it with less than a minute and a half left. Just a one count as Eddie Guerrero kicks out. Victoria going for it once again. It's a one and only a one. Eddie back to his feet. Eats a super kick out of nowhere from Victoria. She's gonna try a pin, but that's gonna be a rope break. Eddie back to his feet. Victoria grabs him right away. Big forearm there. Catches the kick and throws him back. Less than a minute remaining. Victoria going for another pinball attempt. We got one and only one as Eddie kicks out once again. Eddie Guerrero grabs Victoria from behind into the roll up. That might be a rope break, and it is. Thought her left foot was touching the rope, and apparently it was. The way Victoria trying. Oh, good chop there by Eddie. Puts Victoria on the ropes. 30 seconds remaining in this matchup. Both competitors on their feet. Right hand by Eddie. Drop kick misses. Forearm is countered by right hand. Eddie throwing rights. Oh, God, what a clothesline by Victoria out of nowhere. Instead of talking shit, you could go for a pin. That allowed Eddie to get on her. I'm sorry, on his feet again. Headlock punch puts her down. Going for another pinball attempt, and that'll be a rope break. That's probably gonna do it there. As Victoria hits another clothesline. And just looks at him as the time runs out. Time limit draw, no points awarded to either competitor, but what a hell of a match. And what guts shown by Victoria as we move on to our main event. We got Test and we got Chuck Palumbo. Two big boys who like to throw big moves. So this could be a good one here as both competitors looking for their first uh, points. That super kick countered into a dragon whip by Test. Both men on their feet again. Right hand by Palumbo grabs Test. Headlock and punch puts Test back down on the mat. Only momentarily as Test gets back up and hits him with a power bomb out of nowhere. Holy shit. Just planting Chuck Palumbo. But Palumbo gets back on his feet, grabs Test. Whips him into the ropes, into a power slam. I wasn't joking when I said these dudes like to throw big moves. Palumbo going for something just again over and over against the ropes. So Tez just kicks him in the face to stop him. Thank you, Tez. <laughs> Big elbow to the side of the head and a clothesline drops Chuck Palumbo. Not even a minute into this match and we've already seen some huge hits by both guys. Clothesline misses there as Tez grabs Palumbo once again into the suplex. Beautifully done as Tez grabs the head now punching away at the face of Chuck Palumbo. Former primetime player. Gonna have to get something going here as he super kicks Test right in the face. And into the camel clutch, but that'll be a rope break. Doesn't matter though, Test powers out of it with an electric chair drop. Both men back on their feet. Lumbo rakes the eyes. Gets Test again, this time from behind. Test reverses it. Boosts back to the front. Irish whips him into the ropes. Oh, misses the big boot though. Picks up Palumbo, up onto his shoulder, powers him down. Nicely done by Tess, but Palumbo's back on his feet right away. Trying to throw a super kick. Tess grabs him though, kick to the gut, punch to the back of the head. Just like that Matt Hardy uh, combo we saw earlier, but instead of to the face, to the back of the head. More of a dick move, full Nelson slam though by Tess. Putting Palumbo right back down on the mat. Grabs him by the legs. What's he's gonna do here? Oh, kick to the side of the knee. Punch in a big boot. Goes for another one. Palumbo reverses it. Gets behind him into a sleeper hole by Chuck Palumbo. Trying to cut off the air supply to Test. Irish whip is reversed. Test just runs right past the clothesline though. Nothing coming up. Big boot reversed. Palumbo from behind. Picks up Test, backbreaker by Palumbo. Hits him with an elbow on the way up. Right hand by Palumbo puts Test in the ropes. Misses the clothesline though. They lock again. Palumbo whips him into the ropes. Oh, misses the kick though. Discus punch by Palumbo lands, but Test is still on his feet as Palumbo grabs him. Big chop, sends him to the mat. Open up, big boot countered. Palumbo again from behind, picks him up, and another backbreaker by Chuck Palumbo. 
Grabs Tess by the head, but Tess fights out of it, punching him and then sweeping the leg. Open up as Tess grabs Palumbo, hits him with a short arm clothesline. Just dropping him down. Now Tess going up top, see thinking diving elbow. No, he goes to crown him, but Palumbo just gets out of the way. Chuck Palumbo's like, I've seen Ready to Rumble, I know what you're going for. Tess goes for the pin, but that's going to be a rope break. Rumble grabs him, clubbing blow to the back. Puts him back down, but Tess gets up right away, catches the right hand, delivers one of his own. Staggers Plumbo a bit, misses the big boot. Missed discus punch there. Tess picking him up. Brain buster by Tess. Plumbo is down. Tess thinks he's got it here. Referee Nick Patrick on top of it gets one and only one. Plumbo back on his feet, grabbing Tess from behind into another sleeper hole. Trying to put the big man to sleep, but Tess is back on his feet. Lumbo grabs him, Tess reverses it, clubs him in the back, puts him in the corner. Can't deliver on that clothesline though, as Palumbo kicks him in the gut. Lumbo now from behind, belly to back, takedown. Nicely done, followed up with an elbow drop that misses. Tess grabs him as soon as he gets up. Picks him up again, is he thinking Brain Buster? Yes, he is! Dropping Palumbo right on his head once again, but Palumbo's back on his feet, grabbing Tess. Picks him up. Onto the shoulder, shoulder breaker by Chuck Palumbo. Now putting the boots to test as he gets his back to his feet. Oh, the clothesline misses. Palumbo picks him up. Back breaker by Chuck Palumbo onto test. Clothesline by Palumbo as we have some interference. He followed up immediately with the uh, elbow drop. Here comes Billy Kidman, another WCW wrestler. That's going for the pin now after the drop kick from Kidman, but Kidman's going after Tess. Kicks him right in the guts. Follows up with a running leg drop. Elbow drops him on the way down. Tess gets a hold of Palumbo, but Billy Kidman breaking it up. Palumbo grabs Tess from behind as Billy gets out of the ring. Russian leg sweep by Chuck Palumbo. And all attempt here, we get one. And only one from referee Nick Patrick. Still some fight left in test as he gets out of the way of that super kick. Grabs Palumbo from behind, lifts him up. Backbreaker by Test. See what Test does here. Going for the pinfall. That's going to be a rope break. Palumbo just able to get under those ropes. Ooh, clothesline puts Test into the ropes and up and over he goes. Both men on the outside. Billy came in waiting for Test. Lumbo gets a hold of him, but Billy Kidman breaks it up. Short arm clothesline by Tess. This Kidman gets him from behind, rolls him up, but nothing comes of it. Referee up to a six count already. Make that seven. Palumbo rolls into the ring. Tess follows him in. And a super kick puts Tess back on the ropes. Palumbo grabs him into a Russian leg sweep. Putting Tess back down on the canvas. Now a pinfall attempt here by Palumbo. We get one and only a one. As Tess is able to kick out. Palumbo can't believe it, goes for it again. Yeah. Nick Patrick telling him something, but only a one count. Both men on their feet. Discus punch attempt, but Tess grabs him and hits him with the short arm clothesline. And he'll, it's his turn to go for a pin. Yeah. Pinfall attempt. Only a one. Tess now stomps him out, dropping an elbow drop. Another pinfall attempt here by Tess. Yeah. Just a one as Palumbo kicks out yet again. Ooh, big chop there by Tess puts Palumbo in the ropes and a big boot sends him up and over to the outside where Tess follows but Billy Kidman meets him with a pass punch. Both men are down. Palumbo runs right into the ring immediately. Tess is down in the ring. I don't know what happened there. Maybe got tripped up by Billy Kidman. Palumbo's gonna go for the pin but that's gonna be a rope break. Both men on their feet with two and a half minutes left. Test is super kicked into the corner. Nothing comes of it as he hit the right hand there on Palumbo. Palumbo's got to hold the test now, and a short arm clothesline drops him down once again. Pinfall attempt here by Palumbo. Only a one count. As referee Nick Patrick is the worst referee at counting to three in this game. Palumbo's get a hold of him. 
breaks the eyes. Now put uh, Test on the ropes again. Clothesline misses. Test with the right hand. Rumble gets out of the way of that one and delivers one of his own. Grabs Test. Short arm clothesline. These guys are just trying to take each other's heads off with these clotheslines. Going for the rope pin. Break. That'll be a rope break. As Test is able to get that left leg onto the ropes. Test now picking him up and squeezing the life out of him with the bear hug. Showing some strength, but Palumbo fights out of it with a thumb to the eye. Both been high up again, a big chop by Test. Oh, good move there by Palumbo using some speed, dropping Test with that clothesline drop. Test throwing some strikes. Big boot puts Palumbo on the ropes, and another one puts him down on the mat. Test going for the pin off of it. Just a one count from referee Nick Patrick once again. Test can't believe it, wants to try again, putting more weight on the chest. Referee didn't even try to count at that time. I don't know what the hell Nick Patrick's thinking. Maybe that WCW bias is coming into full effect here. Only a one count as we got about 50 seconds remaining in this time limit match. Test going for another pin here after the elbow drop. Nick Patrick taking forever to start counts though. I don't know what is going on with him right now. He's doing fine earlier, but it's getting bad now. Palumbo back to his feet, hits a Russian leg sweep onto Tess. With 30 seconds left, he goes for the pin. We got a one, and only a one as Tess kicks out once again. Both men on their feet. Couple strikes there from Tess. Puts Palumbo in the ropes. He misses the big boot, though. Palumbo gets his off the ropes, but Tess grabs him, picks him up again. Is he thinking another brain buster? Yes, he is. As he drops him down, he can go for a pinfall here, but no, he goes to... Palumbo just gets to his feet again. Tess picks him up, but this is going to be a time limit draw after the uh, brain buster. Who's that? Chris Jericho making his way to the ring way too late. So let's go to the points leaderboard here. We got Spike Dudley in first place with seven points. Matt Hardy and William Regal tied for second with four. We got Chuck Palumbo, Test, Victoria, and Eddie Guerrero all tied with zero in third place. And then in fourth, we got Rikishi with negative two. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.